This was my first time carving real uh, owl eyes. This was a stump. It was already cut, sliced. I got it from a, a mill that my cousin works at. It was first growth uh, western red cedar. Beautiful piece of wood. Uh, very beautiful. And this is from the same mill. They're milling uh, first growth western red cedar right now, so he's getting me the pieces that they can't use. So uh, anyways, today... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tarp, put these over here because I spar varnished them yes, yesterday. The spar still might be a, still a bit sticky. Sorry, I'm having a problem talking. The spar, it's not. It seems, it seems okay, though. But anyways, I'm going to put them all over here and put a tarp over them so I can start carving. And let's go outside and take a look at uh, our wood stock. Let's go outside and look at our uh, inventory warehouse here and see what we want to carve today. So... This is from the mill, 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 this nice log's from the mill, uh, this is from the mill, and this is from the mill. So let's do this. Let's do Let's play a car infusion game here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hot looking brunette by the toe. If she hollers, don't let her go, but maybe you should. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so let's uh, carve this big sucker today. This um, is a, a old, old western red cedar log. You kind of see it's got, uh, I think they call it the elephant foot on the bottom. But the bottom side of this log is rotten inside here. Okay, it's rotten up. So that's probably why they cut it off at the mill. But let me get the camera on the tripod. I'll flip it over and I'll show you guys what I mean. So I don't know... If I have enough room, because this is a perfect piece for an owl, right? I don't know how, but know if I have enough room, I'd start here, have to start about here and up to carve an owl, but I don't know how far the rot goes up. So I might flip this whole log over and use the hollow spot as a flower potter thing, right? So anyways, let me get the camera on the tripod. Okay, so I don't know how that quote, the audio is going to sound because like I'm recording through my earbuds. But um, let's flip this log down. It seems pretty dry. It's not too heavy. So, let's see here. It's all rotten in here. See that? So I'm going to get something to stick inside there, like a broom handle, to measure how, how far the rot goes. One sec. There, let me, I got this rake here. So that's how far up the rock goes. So that's how far I could push the rake handle up there this far. Come on. So what's that, like a foot? Hold on a second here. So yeah, we got about a foot there. So I think what I'm going to do first is get my chainsaw and uh, take all this stuff out of here and see if I can see how far the rot really goes uh, in deep inside there. Okay? I'm going to get it set up. Uh, actually, I'll do that outside here because it'll be a little bit messy.
Okay, I'll try this gouger here. Okay, so I got it hauled out as much as I want to haul it out. So we're still at just about uh, a bit over a foot. But just because this stops here doesn't mean the rot keeps going on up there, inside there. So anyways, let me get it, uh, let me wheel this inside and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the carving today so you see I can poke my finger in a spot there I don't know let's just get her done okay everybody I just want to stop for a minute here and talk about um, art and your wood carvings you know so anything in this world or universe or whatever you want to say has something called s lines all right anything with movement has an s line in it you know the only thing that doesn't have an s line in it is a square but squares are boring, right? Squares are boring. So I suggest for you guys, S lines can come in any shapes, any forms. See, there's an S right there. There's an S right here. There's an S right here. Anywhere you want to put an S, it can be backwards. Just a little bit. That's an S line, you know? Count how many S lines are in there. S here, S here, S here, S everywhere. I suggest you really try and find yourself S lines and try and practice your S lines. M meaning, this is what I'm meaning by this. So, like, don't have that sharp corner there. Just try and smooth everything out nice and smooth, right? So, that's what I'm going to be doing on this piece today. I'm going to be doing S lines. They're my favorite thing to do. They relax me. And um, yeah, so let me turn this piece of camera around and show you what we're going to do. So I don't know if I've already said it. I'm making a flower pot out of this thing, right? So it's just going to stand there just like this. Okay. I'm just going to be having fun carving this today. I don't really carve. Obviously, I'm going to put a wood spirit on it too, or, or two. I'm going to put a flower on it. I've been really... Um, that last carving that Ryan Cook did there um, of the big, huge green man and all the story with, like, the troll and the, the goblin and the little fairy and the flowers in it, that really motivated me to do something like that. So this is a way smaller scale, but I don't know. I'm just What I'm going to do today is just I'm just going to carve and I'm just going to have fun. I'm not going to try and make anything look like anything. But I'll tell you one thing. You're going to see lots of different S lines in this sucker. Because that's what, that's just nice flowing lines, right? So, I did notice here, this is cracked, all here. So what I'm going to do right now is get my wedge hammer and get rid of this wood right now. I shouldn't have cut this so deep here. It's okay. It's a flower box, right? And I'm glad I made that decision because this rot does go, it goes a lot deeper in there too. So that's about two feet deep. So, anyways, I'll get this uh, piece off. I'm gonna put it on the stump, and I guess start carving.
Okay, so when I'm carving this, I realize it's uh, sequoia wood, sequoia redwood. I can tell by that pinkish color in there. Um, you guys, it's wood soaking wet. Like, it's kind of nice to carve because it's pretty hot here today, and the water's splatting against me, so I don't mind. The water wood anyways. So I got one big wood spirit in there. I don't, I don't think I'm going to give these guys too much detail, but I was thinking about it. So there's one here. Then I got these, uh, I got a point here, and I got a point here. So why don't I do like one here, one spirit here, one there, and one there. I'm not going to film for, because you guys have seen me do enough uh, wood spirits. I just did that tutorial. That was a super hard uh, video to make. Oh, and Big L, thanks for the uh, buying me some treats. I appreciate uh, the PayPal, L. Thank you. So anyways, I think I'm going to spin this. Or maybe I'll do some quick details in this. Then I'm going to spin it around. Do these other two wood spirits and well I'm gonna do a gnome on one. That's what I'll do. A gnome on one, maybe something else on the other one. I'll decide. I love blackberries. It's a beautiful day today. This is a good area that I'm in uh, because it's got the huge shade from this massive cottonwood tree. But anyways, you got a nice breeze going through here too. Till the afternoon heat heat comes. So there's our gnome. This quick carve. So um, now I'm gonna spin it around. Here, let me spin it and I'll be back. There's a shout out to Ben's studio on the lake. You chainsaw carving yet there, Ben? So what I envision on this side, look, I can even do a little wood spirit in here too. I got so much depth, okay, right here for the carving. So I want to practice and make like a kind of like a goblin thing. I think I did carve one in bark, so it's going to have a long skinny nose, really pointy. Um, have a little hat. And, well, I don't know. I'll just have to get her done on the way back. Abra, cadabra. Okay, so there's kind of like a Chinese guy. This is just me having fun. I'm kind of just enjoying the day, taking my time. I looked at this picture for reference, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like that guy. I can make his jewel. It just doesn't look like him at all. But anyways, super fun carving. And... Um, now I think I'm going to do, because uh, this is like a fantasy piece, so maybe I'll, um, I don't know if I already said it, but uh, Ryan's video of that big um, green man carving that he did, the fantasy piece and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to put some butterflies on it around here, some flowers, and then we'll, um, then I'll do all the, the S-line stuff, my favorite thing to do. Okay? What do you guys think? Okay, so this wood is pretty, well, it's pretty miserable to work with. It's fuzzy and, yeah, like, anyways, um, let's spin this around so you guys can see what's going on. I talked to Roy and asked him if he mind that I did some flowers and, like, a uh, uh, butterfly. Where's that? Uh, it's more like a dragonfly. So, yeah, now what I'm going to do, I got a big, uh, and Ryan said, yeah, go for it. If, it. if it inspires me, then it works with the piece, then go for it. So, Ryan's such a wicked dude. Um, so, I think I got this big space here. I'll put on some mushrooms. I'll carve mushrooms on here, and then uh, maybe two or three. And it's getting pretty warm here, and then 
Uh, I'll start carving the S lines. I was going to do some here, but I'll do some mushrooms first. Yeah, right on. Right on. How you do it? Carry on, carry on. Okay, guys, so that's going to be a wrap for me today on this. I don't, I'm going to have to see how long this video was. Uh, I'll edit it tonight. If it's long enough, I'll upload it for tomorrow. Um, you guys, so I didn't show any chainsaw carving on this video, but I just used my 2511, the echo saw I got. So it's, I think it's a good idea um, if you guys are, see somebody's art and, you know, you're like, um, how can I explain this? Not, I'm not speaking for myself to you guys with me. But somebody that you don't know, or if you're if you do know, and you see art pieces that they they do that you really like, ask them, send them a message, ask them if they mind that you uh, you steal their idea and run with it, and make it your own. Ryan was super cool. He was like, "Yeah, man, go for it. If it works for you, do it." Um. So, also, if you can't get a hold of a person, just at least r recognize, like, if you post on a social on Facebook. At least recognize the person and give them a mention saying you got the idea from them. I'm not speaking for me to you guys because, well, you're all carving wood spirits and stuff like that. And we'd all get tired of seeing my name. But So, you know, it's just, I think it's a good idea. So tomorrow I'm going to come back. So you can see here, I got little mushrooms carved in here. Um, this, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is a big leaf for the flower. I did a big flower here. And a big leaf coming off here. Then here's the gnome guy. And uh, here's the dragonfly. Then there's the big wood spirit guy here. And another little wood spirit guy here. And this guy, whatever he is. So there's still lots more to do. It's, and it's a good idea when you do the carving. Because this wood's pretty wet. So I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I'll come back tomorrow. And then I'll do all my swoosh cuts, right? All my wind lines and stuff that I like to do. And I got to detail the wood spirit's eyes. Uh, not really too much detail with the gnome, but I got to do all the details in the eyes and stuff on this tomorrow. So super fuzzy wood. And uh, just want to say thanks for the support, guys. And um, thank you too, Karen. Thank you too, Karen. And hope you're all good, and um, hope everybody's well, and you're enjoying the summer. And just thanks, thanks for the support, and it means a lot to me. Okay, so we'll see you guys soon. Carry on, carry on. <laughs>